What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Hey, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do? All right, so um, real quick, TJ and I wanted to come on here because uh, we received some emails from a couple of, a couple of you guys that tune into our channel. Yes. And the segment of Ask Tony and TJ, mm -hmm. is this the first one of our year, right? First one of 2021, baby. All right. So I want to go and say, please, um, don't take it personal that if you guys have submitted over um, information for us that we did not pick it. Mm -hmm. You know, we do get a lot of emails and sometimes I, you know, read the emails and I do appreciate you guys to reach out to us. Yeah. So please don't take it personal. We just haven't got to it yet and we do appreciate it. But um, TJ read an email to me and this particular viewer needs some advice. Yes. So. So that's why they reached out to us. And the letter goes as this. <clears throat> Dear Tony and TJ, I am in dire need of your advice. I am an openly gay man and have been in my relationship with my partner almost a year. We have known one another for two years. Within our relationship, we have experienced infidelity and toxic behavior such as arguing and fighting. We only have had two physical altercations early on in our relationship. My family and certain friends do not want him around. Therefore, it puts me in a difficult space because I love my boyfriend and do want us all to coexist in the same space. I hope this finds you guys and you can help resolve my issue. One of your day one viewers. Thanks. Mm. I've been there before. So do you want to go first or do you want to go first? You can leave it. I'll just breathe. Okay. So the viewer is experiencing some type of trouble with his um, significant other. His significant mm -hmm. And now that his or her friend, I'm sorry, he did say his friend, I'm sorry. His friends are not okay with his relationship. That's being the around him, yeah. Being around the, the boyfriend. boyfriend. Right. Okay, so this is just from my experience and being in situations like this. Um, and it's so funny that I just had a friend who called me the other day and we had a conversation because she wanted some advice about her relationship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when people come to me, ask me advice, I give it from a perspective of just a friend. Right. And I don't judge my friend and I don't judge the person that they are with because it just get, makes things complicated. So I just try to be supportive as much as I can be. And you don't take it personal? No, I don't. No, I don't take it personal because it, it, at the end of the day, that's the person that they chose to be with. Correct. So, you know, <clears throat> what I would say is that just um, to the friend who actually, to the person who actually wrote the email, reached out to us, you know, I think that you should be mindful of what you share and how you share certain things to your family and friends. Because, you know, um, when you forgive them, your family and friends don't. No. And not. they'll feel a way about whatever has happened to you. Right? Correct. So, you know, um, me going through, you know, certain relationships, you know, I've been in a situation where I was dating a girl and my grandmother did not like her. And my mother didn't really like her like that neither. But um, it put me in an awkward position. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to not share certain things with people that tend to hold on to them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would say. Like if you, if you are a person that likes to have conversations about things that's going on in your relationship, right? Because uh, I feel like we all do stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we human. We have friends and family that we talk to. And, you know, sometimes we may want some advice that happens, you know. So I say for, you know, my advice is just to try to be mindful of what you share and just be careful. Yeah, just be because, it, because, it, because at the end of the day, it's going to put you in a situation where so you have to, like, pick and choose between your friend and your significant other, right. or your family, and, and your significant, significant other, other. and, and you don't, not cool. right, right, right. So what do you, how do you feel about it? I mean, I agree with everything you've said. Um, 
you know, you do want to vent and have those friends who you can talk to, but you have to identify the relationship of your friends, knowing on, okay, I can only tell this person so much, right. I can only tell that person so much. You have to be able to identify what you can bring to them right. without them making you feel as if you have to choose. Right. It's not cool, I mean, in relationships we all go through things and we right. all have friends who we feel as if we should vent to. Right. And like I said to Tony, he don't take it personal. And I feel like as a friend, be supportive, don't take it personal. At the end of the day, if that person going to rock with the significant other, the boyfriend, just be supportive, be a listening ear. You might not like that person, but just show some respect because they over and done with it. They have, they going on with their relationship, even though they might have blacked each other's eyes and broke a rib or knocked out a tooth. I'm just now, saying. However, let's we I'm exaggerating. Right. I'm exaggerating. Now. But at the end of the day, if they want to choose to be with that person, just put some respect on it. That's it. That's all. Now, however, at no point that me and TJ is saying stay in an abusive relationship. Oh, no. no. Because that's not cool. Now, you know, I would not want no one that I love and care about be in a relationship where it's abusive. Because yeah. it's not cool. So please yeah. not, let's, let's, you know, clarify and yes. clear it up because that not one time we saying stay with someone that's knocking the shit out. Yeah, of you. we're not saying right. condone that type right. of behavior. Right. But as human beings, we all have been there, done it. Don't get me wrong. We all have gotten outside of our character and done it and smoothed everything over. So just as a friend, just try to be supportive of your friend's decision. And once you identify what you can tell certain people as far as friends and family wise, mm -hmm. then you'll be cool. Well, I think you were giving the, I, th I think you were giving it the advice from the actual friend's perspective. What are you? That, it sounds like that. Yeah. Or were you giving the advice from the actual person that's in it? Because I was giving advice from the person that's actually in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the person that's in it, you have, just have to identify right. your friend, the relationships that you have with your friends. Right. You got to know, my friend A, I can only say such and such. My friend B, I can say such, 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 such. Right. And therefore, right. that's all I'm saying. Right. Just be cognizant of who you disclose and who you show things to. Right. So, um, I have a lot of friends. Uh, and when I say a lot, like people that really come to me and talk to me, ask me, for advice a lot and the Lord knows I'm not a relationship expert, I'm not a therapist, but I feel like just life has shown a lot of us experiences and things that we went through. So, you know, I have friends that call me and ask me a lot of stuff and just talk to me because they tell me that I make them feel comfortable to have these conversations and I don't judge them or judge the person that they with. Right. And I think that part right there, for me being the friend, I'm giving, you know, for me being the friend you know, or the relative, I just choose to be very neutral and be respective to the person that actually is in it because ultimately I don't want to be arguing beef with my friend okay. or my relative that actually came to me and said something to me because in reality, let me just say, let me just say, so, you know, I had a friend before when I was in one of my relationships who I would tell certain stuff to. And when me and my, um, person who I was dealing with then would like make up one of my friends would be like why are you still with them like why are you still dealing with them why are you still talking to them like why are you still in this situation and they would constantly say things like that which then the effect which then turned to me and my friend who I told this stuff to started to have a riff in our friendship so that's why I just be mindful of things that I share when me and TJ go through certain stuff or have our little issues because we all have issues in relationships. They are not a walk in the park how we may think they are. Um, so I'll be mindful of things that I share to people and I'll be mindful of things that people see, you know, because, you know, again, when we are in these situations with someone and we forgive the person, the family and friends may not. And they hold on to it, which is a sad thing. And I think that, you know, it takes a person to be an adult to say, you know mm -hmm. what, let them handle their situation yeah. and they'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. 
because that's between them. Exactly. And just know that I'm here on the sideline whenever right. they need me. So, right. you know. You know, um, <clears throat> to the person who wrote the email, you know, I um, hope that you find some type of like understanding or some type of clarity between the situations that you are in and find, you know, some greater good within it. Um, me, for one, I'm not one to tell people to leave people. Again, people have to do those things in their own time. I'm not that type of friend or that type of person to tell people well, this is what you should do, this is what you should do, because you know, again, we all go through stuff. Do you feel what yeah, I'm saying? Because that very same person that's telling you, oh, you need to leave, they in a relationship or a situation shit or entanglement with that person doing 10 times bad off to them that you actually going through. So, you know, don't stay in a house with glass. 